Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 28th of December. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to join me before, I'd be delighted if you subscribe to my channel. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, you can order your year 2021 personal horoscope forecast and character analysis combination get 30% off. This is based on your time, date and place of birth. Please see the link below. This will give you a unique perspective of what this next year holds for you beyond just your zodiac sign. Hello Gemini and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 28th of December. Your ruling planet Mercury does get into a very positive alliance with Neptune in the second half of this week. When it comes to your resources or worldly interactions, of course practicalities are always going to be important, but I think this is an encouragement to listen to your sixth sense because that could guide you in a direction that's actually very positive for you. Checking out new ways of being, of course, is calling out to you with Jupiter and Saturn's conjunction in your ninth house, but the sun's angle to Uranus as this week begins is very much about exploration. But I think there are some potential um, links to your past or past skills or attributes that haven't been tapped recently, not in any wrong way. It's just perhaps your focus was on something else. But those talents can come back into play. You, you may have uh, some kind of connection with someone completely out of the blue over this week, which really excites you. And they may propose something to you which really captures your imagination. But if it is in a professional context, however much you like that person, you can't be just influenced by that factor alone. Because Venus is in a very persuasive part of your scope, great for harmonizing your ties, but its right angle with Neptune suggests that not everything that you're told this week by someone may actually be absolutely correct. Not because they're deliberately trying to mislead you. Perhaps their own reality is in a state of flux. So just be aware of that. But then Neptune and Mercury are saying you can listen to your sixth sense. So it's just being discriminating about the signals that you get. But if there is a chance to remodel your purpose or your situation in a fresh and dynamic new way, do be very open to it. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd like to wish you a very happy new year. Please stay safe, take care, good luck and goodbye.